What's up, Sparkle Squad? I'm just walking home from school. You know, science class has been really fun lately. My teacher has been teaching us ways in which we can save the environment. Hmm. She even gave us an assignment so that we can save the environment from home. Hey, what's that noise? Hey, why are all these tanks running? Anyone in here? I can't believe all those sinks are running. We learned in school that one sink uses up one gallon of water per minute. That's a lot of water wasted. Hey, is my water blaster full yet? Jimmy, were you running all these sinks so that you could fill your water blaster? No, no, I was also filling up my water balloons. Perfect. And I was washing my soccer ball. See, good as new. Thanks, water. And besides, what are you worried about anyway? Haven't you ever looked at a map? Look at how big our oceans are. We got the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Santa Maria. Some of them are even bigger than entire countries. Well, sure, the oceans are huge, but not much of that water is actually drinkable. Only 1%. You know, people need to drink fresh water, not salt water, and that's what most of the water on the Earth is. Huh, I guess I didn't know that. I just knew that every time I turned the sink on, I could have as much water as I wanted, but if there's really only 1%, then I guess I gotta be more careful about how much water I use. How do you know all this science stuff anyway? In science class? The one you sit next to me in? In the science class where we have our Save the Environment homework assignment due tomorrow? Wait a minute, we have homework due tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow. Uh-oh, gotta go. Oh, I completely forgot about my science homework. How am I gonna think of an idea that helps save the environment? Ooh, I've got an idea. I could do spin -roonies for charity. People could pledge money, and for every donator, I would do a famous Jimmy spin -roonie. Yeah, we'll call it Save the earth a with a little spin -a so that the Earth can keep spinning. a -roonie. I'll think of the name later. Yeah, that might work. Actually, now that I think about it, I pretty much did the same thing for my English project last year, and I got a D minus on it. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Hmm, maybe if I did something with my scooter, or my bicycle. Bicycle, recyclables. Yeah, that's it. I'll come up with a new system that will revolutionize recycling. It could even save the earth. Oh boy, I'm gonna get an A plus on this for sure. And even better, I'll be rich. Perfect. Hey, Jimmy, what you doing? Coach Rocco, just the person I wanted to see. I've been working on my science homework. Ellie and I have been learning about recycling all week in school, and I developed a foolproof new system that's gonna save the environment, maybe the whole world. I'm so proud of you and Ellie taking the initiative to save the environment. How does it work? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, hey, hey. Guys. Hey, Ellie, you're gonna wanna hear this too because soon it's gonna be everywhere. So I developed a three bag system. And before you ask, you can't just put all kinds of garbage into all kinds of bags. Every bag has a very specific use. For example, the blue bag here, you can only put blue garbage into it. So for example, this uh, blue marker. And in the red bag, you can only put red garbage, like this red party hat. And in the green bag, yep, you guessed it, only green garbage, like this line here. Any questions? Um, Jimmy, I don't think this is how we learned about recycling in class. Yeah, e Ellie's right. What if the garbage isn't one of these colors and it's purple like this balloon? I thought you might ask that. Well, stick around, fellas, because my plan has a solution for that problem, too. If the color isn't one of these main three colors, you just have to do a little mix and matching. Like in the case of purple, blue and red combined make purple. So you just have to put half the balloon in one of the bins and half of the balloon in the other bins, like this. <laughs> See, half in there and half in there. Any more questions, doubters? Wow, it makes perfect sense. Ellie, you ready to recycle? 
Um, not exactly. You see, you don't have to match the colors of the recycling bins with the color of the garbage. You have to match the recycling bins to the type of garbage it is. So, the blue bin is for plastic. The red bin is for cans and glass. And then the green bin is for paper. So, you would actually put everything else that doesn't match up with those categories in your regular kitchen garbage bin. Oh. That makes sense. Because come to think about it, I wasn't really sure what to do with this cookie here. Hey, wait a minute. This is a perfectly good cookie. Why would I be throwing it out anyway? Well, did you find that one under your bed, Jimmy? It's only been there since Tuesday. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I got your favorite sour cream and onion. Come here, kitty, kitty. Here you go. Hey, Coach, what are you up to? Oh, I'm feeding the kitten that lives in our yard. The kitten? Look at how cute he is. Look at that white stripe down his back. Isn't he cute? Coach, be careful. That's a wild animal. And not just any wild animal, a skunk. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure this is a kitten. Oh, no, Coach, the best thing you can do for a wild animal is to leave it alone. It's not that we're being mean. It's that it might get sick on human food or we're taking it away from its home. Oh, I think you're mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's a kitten if he eats potato chips. Oh, gosh. Coach, just make sure you take a shower after, okay? What? Bye! Bye. <laughs> silly, silly Ellie. She doesn't understand. <laughs> what are you doing? Why aren't you eating your potato chips, huh? Huh? <laughs> oh! Oh, stinky, naughty, stinky. Oh, yeah, no, she was right. She was right. Oh, yes, you are a skunk. Yes, you're a stinky skunk. Okay, you can go back out there. Go. Go frolic with all the other skunks. I hope there's no other skunks. Oh. Ellie, you were right. You were right. Get the tomato sauce again. Hey, Coach Rocco, want to come to the mailbox with us? We're going to go see if those energy-efficient light bulbs you ordered already got here. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'll meet you there in my car. Hey, Coach Rocco, why don't you go take a scooter or a bike? I mean, it'll be good for your health, and it'll also be good for the environment. Yeah, true, and the mailbox is just down the driveway. Uh, I don't know. I've never ridden a scooter before, and I, I watch you two scooting around, and it looks dangerous. I'll just walk. No, 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 no. You can take my scooter and my helmet. And Jimmy here can teach you how to ride it. It's super easy. And trust me, it's a much better choice than taking the car. All right, Coach Rocco, Jimmy's scooter school is in session. Step number one to riding a scooter. First, you gotta plant one foot on top of the scooter. Then you gotta plant the other one on the ground. And when you're ready, give yourself a little boost and push. <laughs> You got this, Coach Rocco! Oh, oh, oh look! <laughs> You're doing it, Coach! I'm scoring! <laughs> <laughs> well done, you guys! Yeah, nice job, Coach Rocco. <laughs> See, Coach Rocco, just because you didn't choose your car, you've already taken one step towards a cleaner Earth. Our Terra Science project is complete. We're getting really, really good at saving the environment. I'll say, yeehaw! How about a race? <laughs> Coach Rocco, don't go so fast. Yeah, and you're going the wrong way. Coach Rocco, watch out for that. Oh, oh yikes. That one hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon!